Hello and welcome to day 35 of the NA10 series. In the last couple of videos, we saw how do we convert video into blog. In today's video, let's see how do we generate newsletter that can be sent out to multiple users. And in our use case, we are going to extract the latest top trending AI tools and we will also include one of our videos into that newsletter. And we are going to save this as a draft on Gmail, but we could be saving it as a Google Doc like we did last time. And then we could use that to send newsletter via any of the platforms that we would like to use. So let's get started. Mostly everything remains similar like we saw in the last uh, video, which is for block, but the source from where we are getting uh, the top trending AI tools and the growth video will slightly change. And we will have one less of an agent, which is SEO, because newsletter does not require SEO. Okay, so let's begin with schedule. And we are going to run this once a week. So this is going to be week, every week. Uh, it could be Sunday or it could be whatever day you want. Um, we will make this Friday right and uh, it's anyways going to be a draft so maybe near midnight at uh, 12 okay let's click on execute step and there we go we have caught this the next step is going to be the ai agent okay and this is going to be the main agent and we will change this one to define below and we'll have a prompt over here and the prompt is going to be very simple which is use the available tools and execute the task and we will have a system message like we did last time. The system message is going to be like this. Role, you are an expert workflow orchestrator specializing in newsletter production coordination. You manage the entire newsletter creation pipeline and ensure all components work together seamlessly. Okay, we give some task details. We give what are the tools available like research agent, transcript extractor, writer agent, and QA agent. Constraint, we have mentioned a few constraints and workflow sequence. How should the workflow be run, right? Use research agent to research about trending AI tools. Use the transcript extractor to extract the raw transcript. Send the details of the trending AI tools and the transcript to the writer agent. Input to write the newsletter. Access the quality of the newsletter, right? So this is how it runs. And then we have given some notes over here and we have also mentioned what should be the output type, right? So um, let's quickly just copy this, go back, make require specific output format. We have already seen this last time, right? And output parser is going to be structured output parser and uh, defined using JSON schema. And this is going to be what we need, right? Per flow ID. Uh, is going to be string status, whether it's completed, failed, or in progress. Newsletter ready, true or false. Execution time minutes. Uh, subject line is string. And then final newsletter content is also string. Errors, if any. Right, so this is the output that we need from the AI. Okay, so let's keep this one side. And let's add the chat model. So we're going to use OpenAI chat model and 4.0 is good enough. So we're going to use that. And memory is going to be simple memory like we saw last time. And uh, the key is going to be the timestamp. So we'll use it directly this time. Um, context could be like 10 or 15. Let's make it as 15. So let's keep both of this aside. We need a few tools, which is again, AI agent. We need to name this properly. Okay, so transcript extractor. The names should match whatever we have given uh, in this main agent description or system message, right? So if you uh, expand this, you can see a research agent, transcript extractor, writer agent, and QA agent. So only if it matches, will uh, the main agent be able to call this agents um uh, specifically so the description of this one will be call this to extract the youtube video transcript prompt will be by uh, ai we'll also use the system message 
right? And uh, like we have seen last time, so we'll have a role. You are the transcript extractor specialist, an AI assistant dedicated to retrieve clean, complete YouTube transcript. Task, run the Appify extractor process, retrieve the transcript and return it in a clean, structured format. Tools available, we will have Google Sheets, which is where we will have the link of the YouTube. And then we'll have uh, run actor and then get transcript. We have constraints and the output format should be this one. So chat model, we are going to use Gemini and it's going to be 2.5 flash. Uh, memory is going to be simple memory. And this is going to be timestamp like we have already seen. And this can be 50 tools like we have seen last time it will be appify you will use uh, this account which is connected actor is going to be youtube transcript scraper input json is going to be defined by model so wait for finish will also be defined by model and we'll leave the timeout memory and build tag everything as is without making any changes we'll add one more tool like we did last time again Appify and this time the source will be data set and operation is get item data set ID will be defined by the module offset and limit will be left as is now one of the other thing that we have to do is link local sheets in the previous video I showed you how do we create the client ID and client secret when we want to connect with Google Drive and Google Doc if you want to connect Google Sheets you will have to use the same method just that you will have to I uh, link Google Sheets as well in the project that you're going to create on Google Cloud Console. Once you connect that, your Google Sheets will also be uh, late. Okay, and then here we have to go and connect Google Sheets. So we'll use one of the accounts that is already, and we already have the YouTube database sheet or document from which we have newsletter sheet. I'll quickly show you what this document has. So there is yet another workflow that we have, which updates this particular link every week, right? So based on the latest video that we launch on the weekend, this will get updated. So one of the videos will be linked into the newsletter. Uh, you could do this manually or you could fetch uh, the YouTube link from somewhere else, right? So we have the document, we have the sheet and we don't need anything else, right? So this particular agent is ready. Let's just get this on one side. Let's move on to the next agent that we need. And this is going to be the research agent. So the description is going to be call this agent while fetching the latest trending AI tools. The prompt, as always, uh, defined automatically by the model. We'll also have a system message so this is going to be role. You are an SEO research specialist and trend analyst focused on AI tech industries development with expertise in identifying viral content patterns and high performing keywords. Task, research and compile the top five trending AI tools from the past week using the output from Extractively. Analyze competitor newsletters, uh, identify high value keywords and gather engagement metrics for optimal newsletter performance. We have uh, mentioned two tools, Extract, Tavili, and uh, Perplexity AI. And then we have also mentioned what should be the output like. Okay. So that's our research agent. We need to use the chat model and we're going to use uh, Gemini 2.5 flash. We need the memory. So simple memory. And it's going to be the timestamp. And let's change this to 15. So in the last video, we did it for five, uh, the context window length, uh, but just in case if the AI keeps looping to improvise, then 15 would make sense, right? And that's why we'll just change it to 15. One of the tools is going to be perplexity and uh, the model is going to be Sonar Pro, right? Because we want it to research well. You could also use deep research. You could see how the output changes and use the model, which goes well with the output. Message. Text is going to be defined by the module. Role is user. And let's simplify the output. The next tool that we're going to use is Tavili. Okay, this will help us to extract the details. So before we set 
this uh, tavili let's head over to aiexploria.com uh, this will give us the top trending ai tools and so on and so forth so we are going to extract it from here okay so uh, tavili will actually help us to scrape those details so that we can include them into our news kit and for that we'll have to go to tavili and create an account uh, let's click on sign up quickly create your account and once you're done you get the key from here so just copy it from here come back and create new credential put your api key and then base url can be left as is and allow for http request domains you could leave it all or you could mention specific domains and so on and so forth right uh restrict request to specific domains if you don't want it to uh request for specific domains you can include them but we'll go with all for now okay and um and also mention this is support account and give on save right you can see that this has got saved and uh, tool description will be set automatically a resource will be extract uh, operation will be url add url and this url is going to be this one which is exploria in top 100 ai right so let's open this you can check this out right so uh, this is from ai exploria okay and uh, top 100 threads so that's where we are getting the details from okay that's all so we have done with the second agent we have to create two more the third one is going to be the writer agent so let's make this as writer agent we are going to add the some description so description is going to be call this agent for content writing prompt is going to be uh, given by model system message is going to be as follow Right, so you are an expert weekly newsletter content writer specializing in AI tech topics with deep understanding of engagement, optimization, storytelling, and conversion focused copywriting. Uh, we have given some uh, tasks. We have also mentioned what is the input that this particular agent is going to receive, what are the constraints, and what should be the output blank. So once this is done, let's go back and include the chat model. In this case, we are going to use OpenAI, Foro, and we're going to use the simple memory with timestamp as the key and 15 as the length. So writer agent is also set up. Let's move on to the last agent that we need, which is QA agent, which will basically score and give us uh, feedback on what the writer agent writes. So we'll name this as QA agent. The description is going to be this one. Call this agent when conducting final review for readability and accuracy, right? And uh, prompt is going to be written by Modi. We will have a system message like we have seen in all the cases before. And again, you are a content quality assurance expert specializing in newsletter optimization with expertise in engagement metrics, readability analysis, analysis and conversion optimization. We have given some task details. We have mentioned what is the input that the agent is going to get. Uh, what are the tools that it has to use? What are the constraints? What should be the output format, right? Um, last thing, we have to connect the chat model and we're going to use um, Gemini. Let's use 2.5 row because it should give proper reasons as to why it has given particular score and what are the improvement points. And let's also connect the memory, simple memory. This is straightforward, like we have been doing for all the memories. And this is going to be 50. So that's all the agent that we need for this particular workflow, right? We have set everything that is needed. One last setting is let's go to main agent. Let's go to settings, uh, retry on fail, just in case if something fails, let's enable this so that it can retry again uh, instead of just cutting it through. Maximum price can be three and uh, wait between tries could be thousand milliseconds. Okay, so once this is done, let's click on save and let's run this agent. So you can see that it is running the transcript and research agent parallelly because it's not linked to each other. Research agent is actually getting us the top AI uh, tools from this particular link and um, the transcript is actually getting 
the transcript of the video from our channel which is coming from here okay so it understood that it can run parallelly right so it is doing that so it has got the details from both of this now it should be calling the writer agent so you can see that it has called the writer agent and once the writer agent is done it should call the QA agent to get the score and if the score is good enough then it will stop it there that will be the final output if the score is not good it will call the right of agent again with feedback so that the right of agent can improvise the newsletter and then it will go to QA agent again to get the final score and then it ends there if the score is all good so let's see what happens in this case you can see that right of agent has been completed now it should call the QA agent with the output that you've got from writer agent. What's very, very important is the names of this agent should match whatever we have mentioned in the main agent system prompt. So you can see QA agent is being called now. We could also expand this flow from here to see what's actually happening. Okay, you can see that after QA agent does come to writer agent, I'll quickly show you why that would have happened. Research agent is done, transcript, Extractor is done, writer agent. So writer agent has actually given us some output. So if you go here, you can see the writer agent output and then go to QA agent, right? The output it says quality score is 91 and uh, it would have given some feedback. The main trending AI innovation is generic and redundant given the context of the newsletter and the subject line. Okay, suggestion consider replacing uh, the H1 with a branded banner image or a more styled uh main header hello innovators already serves as a strong opening headline and is sufficient on its own right so uh it will give some feedback basis which the writer agent will make some changes okay and that's why you can see writer agent has actually run twice right so you can come here writer agent has written the final output okay and this is the final output okay so let's go back zoom in okay we have got the final output, which is basically this one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a draft on Gmail. OK, so I go to Gmail. We have already connected it. You can search for draft and we have created draft. And I'll go to one of the accounts. Let's say create new credentials. And let me sign in with Google. I'll use one of the accounts. Select all. Click on continue. Okay, so I'm going to mention this as support rate seven. And because this is kind of close without saving, keep it ready. Oh, I'll just click on save because I changed the name. And uh, draft operation is create. And the subject is coming from here. Email type is going to be HTML. And the final newsletter content is this one. Let's click on execute step and the draft is created let me quickly show you that so you can see here the subject is explored this week's top five ai innovations right and then uh, we have explored th this is the subject and then we have uh, training ai innovators hello innovators welcome to your weekly dose of the latest in ai this week we are we are uncovering some of the hottest ai tools that are making waves across industries along with a spectacular video on apache spark that's sure to level up your tech game. Credit driving, AI video generator, then Gwen image edit, uh, deep seek v3.1, and then open lovable, right? And then finally, it also uh, shows Apache Spark in 100 seconds, right? So that's also added over here. And then finally, we have added uh, join our free weekend workshop on no code automation. So some more details. Uh, in the newsletter we could of course make this uh, even uh, nicer but uh, the code of the video was to show you how you can generate newsletters automatically using NATM. so that's how you can generate newsletters automatically based on the topic that you choose isn't it simple i hope this was helpful in the last couple of days of this week, we are going to show you how you can create a couple of more agents using Pennet. And thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.